morning. Apologies, I haven't been posting any videos for a couple of weeks. I have just had the most mental time with client work. I had some super, super cool projects and commercial shoots. Um, I was also traveling around with the Grand Prix. So that has been pretty mad. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see some of those images, I guess. Today's plan is to wander around, make the most of this beautiful sunrise. This is supposedly gonna be, be our summer because we didn't really have one. I've been looking forward to going out shooting street for so long and it feels like I haven't done it in ages. So I am buzzing. And yeah, right, let's stop puffing around with this intro and let's get to it. Peace. shooting on the Fuji X100V um, because it's just a beautiful little camera. This thing absolutely cares. If any of you have followed my channel for a while, you'll know exactly what I'm on about. And yeah, any of you that are on the fence about it, get it. So I've been honing my inner troll and I'm now underneath uh, kind of like a little pier bit. But what I want to show you is this. As my phone is currently recording in HDR, it's not quite the same as a kind of a photo, but this and up here is all really dark compared to the outside over here. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to frame stuff. So I've got this framed up here. I'm trying to get someone, see this guy? By using frames, you're able to really create photos that are a lot simpler to read. It's able to guide the eye as to what people, what the photographer wants people to look at, right? What's also really important to know is how your camera is going to react in different scenarios. When I look at this scene, I can still see that there's dark patches and there's light patches. Whereas on a camera, you're not able to do that. The camera has a single exposure, and either if you want to expose for bright things, then your dark thing is going to be really dark, or if you want to expose for dark things, bright things are going to be really bright and so knowing that and then using that understanding can really help create photos that are properly interesting actually i'm going to move out of the way this is, this is a really gross background here we go this is the first so something that i quite like to do is to just slap my exposure all the way up and slap it all the way down and by slapping my exposure up or down i'm able to see does this look better does this look worse you don't have to always think like oh yeah my first thought was it was going to be better dark and therefore I've got to stick with the dark photo. No, that's not, that's not the point of photography. The point of photography is to take banging photos and to have fun doing it. So keep learning, keep trying new things. Let's get back to it. is that the sun over here is reflecting off this guy's people here onto these people here. So if you look at them, they are slightly brighter than kind of my camera. That's because the light is coming from over there, here. And that creates interesting light, which is exactly what you want to use to capture photos. Because that at the end of the day is what makes things look nice, is having interesting light. So by thinking, oh, those people look oddly illuminated compared to the rest of the scene. That helps you start to understand, start to see light in a different way and be able to capture it in your photos. The more I'm shooting using this big kind of reflector, the more it looks like a really shit high key uh, fashion shoot, which I think is quite entertaining. I'm just having a little gig by myself as I'm 
rolling around. I forget how much I love this. This is absolutely beautiful. If anyone is in London at the moment, get outside. Get out, get taking photos. Like, sit, call off sick to work and get out and take some, take some photos. <laughs> change of scenery uh, currently in the countryside as you may maybe have to tell I'm um, starting to feel a little bit tired a little bit lethargic nearly fell asleep in the sauna and um, that probably isn't a good sign so I decided to come home and as it's a beautiful sunset and I haven't had one in a while thought I would come out and yeah take some photos and so I will now leave you with just some beautiful British countryside um, images and some electronic music enjoy a whole bunch of photos that I, I absolutely love um, because yeah the weather is beautiful and I just want to do the intro so here we go let's get to it <laughs> 